Hello and welcome back to Badminton Insight. If you're new here, we're Greg and Jenny, two professional players releasing a new video every Sunday on all things badminton. So in today's video, we're going to show you the seven, yes, seven different types of drop shots in badminton. We'll give you some key points on how to play these shots successfully and when to use them. So let's get to it. So first up, we have the standard drop. Now we've actually covered this drop in a lot of detail on a previous video, link in the description below if you want to check that out. So you would use this drop mainly when you're lifted right onto the bat line and want to neutralize the rally. It's often a good choice if you don't want to give the attack away by clearing, but you also don't want to put yourself under pressure by playing a smash if you're not in a good position. A key point is to make sure you're in the same preparation as a clear or smash, facing sidewards and staying in a relaxed forehand grip. Now, moving on to the slices of which we have four different varieties. The purpose of all of these slices is to create unpredictability for your opponents so they can't anticipate your shot and they never feel comfortable. So our first slice is a straight slice down the tram lines from your round the head corner. As you can see here, this slice requires a fast racket head speed, but because you're slicing the shuttle, it brings the shot much lower and shorter of where your opponents are expecting it. Our first key point for this shot is that you need to hit the side of the shuttle like this. So you need to come around it in order to create the slice. And a fun fact for you is that us left-handers actually have an advantage when playing this shot, as the way we slice the shuttle and the way the feathers lie gives us more slice. And we love a good slice. The second key point is to make sure you're slicing the shuttle above your head and not too far in front of you. Because as you're slicing the shuttle, if you slice it too far in front of you, it'll reduce the angle and it'll probably go in the net. You also need to bring your wrist down at the last second to generate power. You actually need to hit this shot with more power than a normal drop because slicing the shuttle makes it lose some speed. And the wrist is really important with all of these slices we're going to show. Our third drop shot is a cross court slice from the forehand corner. And you can use this shot in singles to set up a weak reply or in doubles to either encourage rotation with your partner or to catch that cross court defender off guard. And of course you can often get a complete winner from it in both singles and doubles. Whilst this shot is essentially the same as the straight slice, you need to generate more power in the cross as it's traveling a much further distance. There's different ways of playing it in terms of your swing length, but whichever way, you really need to bring the wrist through. That's tip number one. And tip number two is to mainly play the shot when the shuttle's in line with you or on the inside of you. This is so that you're able to play it cross and also make it look similar to other shots right until the last second. Of course, you could take the shuttle to the outside of you if you're taking it really late, but that's the deep forehand, a completely different shot, which we've actually done a complete tutorial on on a previous video. Still in your forehand corner, you have the straight reverse slice, which is very satisfying to pull off. This can again be a winning shot or even just deceive your opponent and force a weak reply. It's a great shot to have in your armory. There's a lot of technical detail in this shot, but our first quick tip for you is to bring your wrist through so that your palm of your hand is facing upwards at the end of the action. And this action is kind of like twisting a doorknob. The second tip is to still have enough forwards momentum in your swing. It's very easy just to focus on the slice and not put enough through the shot for it to go over the net, as Greg's demonstrating here. This was actually supposed to be a demonstration of him doing it properly. And it's best to hit the shot slightly in front of you and also slightly out to the side of you for the most effective rotation and control of the shot. The fourth slice is very similar in technique to the straight reverse drop, but actually a little bit easier. Again, you need to rotate your wrist so that your hand is facing upwards at the end of the shot. And to do this, you have to come around the shuttle so that you're taking it to the outside of you. Once more, really focus on bringing the wrist and arm through the shot to help with the quality and effectiveness. Our last tip is to keep your upper body strong and don't let it drop as you hit the shot. So we've covered five drops so far and we have two more to go. But what if people want to learn how to do these drops in a step-by-step -step tutorial with different ways of practicing them? Good question. In our tutorials, we usually break down the technique first before developing it into a routine and finally practicing it in a match situation. 
and in future videos we'll break down these individual shots so yes yeah, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss those it's free and nearly 80 percent of you don't for some reason but yes, yeah, the overhead technique is so complex, which is why we haven't broken down each individual shot in this video, as it would have been about two hours long. Anyway, let's get on to the final two drops. Yes, hopefully you're still with us. So this sixth drop is a loopy drop, and one that Tai Tzu Ying does very well. It can be done for different reasons, but essentially, you hit the shot off so it has a higher trajectory, so it comes down at a steeper angle and very tight over the net. It can be done to either give you time to get back into court or make your opponent move fully into the corner so they're really reaching or even not able to get there. The first tip isn't really a tip, it's more of a must. And this is that you must not play the shot too loopy or when your opponent is on the front foot as it could really get you in trouble. The second tip is to hit slightly under the shawl to create this loop on the shot, and also stop your swing speed late on in your hitting action. And this tip is also really important for our final drop. Yes, it certainly is. And this final drop is the stop drop, a favorite of ours which is used so effectively by many players. The aim of this shot is to stop your swing right at the last millisecond, making your opponents think you're playing a smash and then it lands in front of them for a winner. You shouldn't overuse it, but it's good to use when you have a short lift and you're able to get into a position where you look like you're going to play a big smash. Quick tip number one is to really pretend you're playing a smash. So keep that fast racket head speed going right until the last millisecond. And a great way to practice this is by standing next to a wall and swinging as fast as you can and stopping as late as you can. The second tip is to not drop your arm too much and make contact with the shuttle lower than you would when playing a smash. This is a common mistake people make and it's where we go wrong a lot of the time for sure. Again, we have a full tutorial to come on this shot as there's a lot of technical detail that goes into it. There was a lot of information there. Hopefully you found it useful and you enjoyed putting some of those shots into your game. And if you did enjoy the video, please give it a like and smash the subscribe button. It really helps to support our channel. And if you want to support the channel even more, then please consider signing up to our Patreon page where you get access to exclusive perks such as our monthly live streams and Discord server. Thank you in advance to anyone who does sign up and we'll see you on another video. Generate more moon. Oh, due to the way the fuvvers like. Good question. Good question. Good. Good question. 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 Good question.